I'm here at Öhlins and I'm talking to Mr. Anderson. Um, he will uh, tell us something about a new invention of Öhlins. Yes, um, this is an active steering stabilizer that we have uh, introduced for this motor show. And um, it's for off-road, it's for uh, enduro motocross and uh, rally bikes. Um, and what it does is that it it selects when you need damping or not. So if, if you ride the bike you have free movement of the handlebars, completely no damping at all. And uh, thanks to a sophisticated system in this housing here on the triple clamp, you will get uh, damping when you get the force to the wheel, like from a stone or, or something like that. Uh, and then when a situation is taken care of by this uh, steering stabilizer, it's, uh, it moves freely again. And it comes like this, uh, included in the triple clamp, and uh, will be on the market for, uh, well, startup production is probably April or May. And uh, this is kind of the third generation of steering dampers. We are proud to announce this here at AICMA. Okay, thank you. Mm, now here we have uh, what we call uh, BMW EC. It stands for electronically controlled, so it's a suspension for uh, in this case for the R1200 GS and GS Adventure. Uh, so what you do is that you add some uh, yeah, early shock absorbers controlled by the bike's uh, ESA system. Uh, so you have a full early performance taken from the racetrack at the MotoGP and so on, uh, put in the GS and you have uh, all adjusted by the touch of the ESA button. And uh, yeah, it's the first system for aftermarket. Um, and uh, we had it on the Multistrada, Ducati Multistrada, since uh, a few years now. And now it's available available for uh, BMW GS and uh, soon also for uh, some other models to come. Uh, also here at uh, AICMA we have the first Hypersport uh, electronic system. And we start with the Kawasaki ZX-10R. So from uh, this spring if you have a ZX-10R, you can also have this kind of system that works with the bike. It uh, reads signals from the engine control management and you can then uh, have an adjustment on the bike as you ride. Uh, if you ride aggressively, you get uh, stiffer uh, suspension and if you ride uh, in a comfort mode, then you uh, have a more comfort. And uh, this you handle with a power mode button on the Kawasaki. So it's a similar system like we have on the Multistrada and uh, on the GS but now also for Hypersport. Here we have uh, a new racing fork for the new Hot Moto3 class. Um, the race technicians, engineers developed this new fork since, uh, well, with a very short notice, with experience from uh, MotoGP forks, uh, made it smaller, very easy to maintain for racing teams. Uh, you don't need that much special tools. You can do all in, the, in your uh, racetrack uh, pretty easily. And it's available from now on uh, for uh, Moto3 class, but also for other small bike in uh, national racing. Uh, roughly, I don't have an exact figure, but in Germany, I guess it's about 4,000 euro. 4,200, something like that, and uh, that is a decent price as well for, for this kind of fork. Here we have uh, the new Eric Buell racing bike called the 1190 RS, and uh, it's the first time, from what we know, it's in Europe. Um, you know, uh, Buell had a, used, to ha used to have a Holley engines and so on, but now they have a completely new package. And we supply it with a special front fork and a, a TTX 36 rear shock absorber to to take, can, take care of the suspension. And uh, since it has a bit special front brake, it is also uh, yeah, it's a bit trickier to, to handle the, the braking parts here to fit it to the fork bottom. Uh, but we're very proud to have this bike here and uh, a lot of interest from uh, customers passing by, so yeah, nice bike.